see if our pet gator fall. Oh my gosh, I got slammed. Oh my gosh, it's big. Hey yo folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel. Comment days popping up down below. So guys, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. Today, we are here at Walmart in search of the Walmart brand Baitcaster Rod and Reel. For those of you guys who don't know, Walmart has like their own fishing lure brand. They also make like coolers and like outdoor stuff too. It's called Ozark Trail. It's like Walmart's brand and they just dropped recently a brand new Baitcaster Rod and Reel combo that is actually Walmart brand, which is pretty crazy. So Yak Pack and I were here yesterday. We saw these they're like elusive. We've probably been to 30, 40 Walmarts <laughs> over the past like two weeks, haven't been able to find them. And we saw three combos in this Walmart yesterday and we were filming a different video. So hopefully they're still here today. Well, I'm super pumped because I'm pretty sure the Walmart brand, normally they keep stuff on the cheaper side. And I'm really interested to see if their Baitcaster rod and reel combo is any good. Test it out for you guys before you buy it or if you're even interested in it and see how it goes. And also I'll be giving away this combo because after today, I'm probably never gonna use it. So guys, all you have to do to enter this giveaway is leave a like on the video, Subscribe, hit the bell, turn the notifications to all, and drop a comment down below if you like bait casters or spinning rod and reel combos better. Also for that giveaway, I'm only gonna ship the reel because it costs so much money to ship rods. Like I would be paying quadruple in shipping than like what the rod is even worth. So it's only the bait caster that I'm gonna be sending to whoever wins the giveaway. But yeah guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and go inside Walmart, see if they have this combo and see if we can catch any big fish on it today. I'm pumped, let's go. All right guys, we are here in the Walmart fishing section. Good news, they have the combo. They had three of them yesterday when Yak Pack and I were here and look at this. Last Ozark Trail bait caster combo right Right here in all its glory for 34 bucks. I'm trying to see if I can find another combo in here that's cheaper than $34. Like 34 bucks, I mean, that's still a good amount of money. But for a baitcaster rod and reel, I even consider like a $150 combo pretty cheap too, especially considering a lot of like the nicer reels are like 180 bucks, and that's just for the reel on top of the rod. I feel like an average bass fisherman's combo is probably 250, 280 bucks. So $34 has me pumped that there's a rod and reel that cheap that people can buy and go out and use but I'm worried <laughs> that it has to be 34 bucks for some reason because 280 has you like a solid combo that'll last you years 34 bucks though I mean that's that's pretty much as cheap as it gets there's not a single combo in here the second cheapest one I can see actually these lose combos right here you guys know I absolutely love these really high quality really nice love them those are 50 bucks so still I mean awesome deal but there's nothing else like these lose bait casters right here too are 60 so check that out. That's a pretty high quality rod and reel for only 60 bucks. But I can tell just by holding the rod that it isn't nearly as nice as their more expensive stuff. Just the grips on this rod and reel don't feel as uh, expensive. It feels just like foam as the other ones. But obviously that's why it's only 60 bucks and not hundreds of dollars. I feel like for $60, that'd be a really good option too if you guys had a, a budget for that. I just know with loose rods and reels, normally they pull through in the uh, in the quality. I haven't used it before, but I imagine for normally if you spend $60 and you're buying loose stuff, you're gonna get like double the value. But that is literally the second cheapest one in here. And we're in Walmart too, where everything is like the cheapest that you can find fishing stuff for. So guys, for $34.96, we have the Ozark Trail Big Caster. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one last. One, two, I'm so pumped that we got here at the time we did. Guys, this is a 6.6 medium rod with a, let's read the thing, a 5.1 ball bearing reel and the reel's gear ratio, let's see real quick, a 6.4 to one, so pretty average. If you divide these two up, that's about $15 for reel and $15 for rod. That is a crazy deal if this thing is good, which is why we're gonna go test it. I'm, uh, I'm pumped for this. I'm gonna even grab a few lures too while we're here at it. Guys, check this out. They just restocked everything in my Walmart. Like this is epic. We got a full wall of stuff and they have all the new Walmart lures as well. I'm thinking we gotta go with the, uh, with the hammer hog. That would be crazy for only a buck. I mean, that is such a good scoop right there and maybe we'll do we'll just grab some swim baits as a as a bonus all right guys we're gonna go ahead and check out the cheapest combo in here the walmart brand rod and reel i'm pumped it comes with line on it because i don't have any line and we'd have to buy like some cheap line here i don't know if this comes with like six pound or eight pound fluorocarbon probably gonna have a few heartbreaks today knowing my luck but uh i'm pumped it's weird to buy a whole brand new combo and keep it under 40 bucks especially like spinning combos you know maybe you can get away with it but this is like the first ever bait caster combo that I've seen for this cheap. I'm pumped. Let's see how it goes. All 
Alright guys, we are here at the pond. We're actually at a spot we were driving by. I haven't been here in probably like a year and a half. This used to be like old high school norm, like stomping grounds. There's some big ones in here. One of my buddies, PBs, is actually out of here. I think he's like eight and a half pounds. And I've been here forever. There's actually a guy that's already here. And as we were walking up, I just watched him catch like a three and a half pounder. So, um, yeah, I don't know how long he's been here. If he's already fished, what I'm about to fish. And it also looks like he's throwing a speed worm, which I've went ahead and tied onto my Walmart bait caster here. One thing I did notice about this already, it doesn't have a hook keeper anywhere. I was like trying to like put it here or here or on the reel. And that's one thing that this does not come with is a hook keeper. I guess technically you could put it like through the eye of like one of these. There's like little holes in the reel. I mean, yeah, technically you could do that, but it's just uh That's one thing I've noticed so far. I'm excited for our first little cast test right here. See how it goes. One thing that's always weird about the cheap rod and reel combos is they might feel good in the beginning, but if you use them for a couple of weeks, they might start feeling worse and worse. That's where like the high-end reels will last you longer. So even if this is good today, it might not be good long term if that makes sense but we're gonna see how she goes today first cast Ooh, honestly not too bad of a cast also guys this is a 6.6 six rod and basically the shorter that you make a rod like these rod companies when they make rods the shorter you make them the less good material you have to put in the rod basically the reason they can make this so cheap and they didn't go with like a 7.6 it's because a 7.6 is gonna feel way cheaper than a 6.6 is with the same material. Like the bigger your rod is, the better material you have to put into it for it to be as sensitive. So that's why this is a 6.6, like super skinny rod. Obviously it doesn't have like expensive materials in it, but might still feel good just because it's short. So normally when you spend more money on a combo, I would recommend spending more money on like a bigger combo. I backlash my first cast, by the way. I don't know if that's the reels fault or my fault. Wait till I have this bad girl dialed in. This dude over here is dangling a speed worm just like me. We got some competition out here. I don't like it at all. You guys ever roll up to your pond and you just see somebody fishing there and you don't know a single thing about them, don't even know their name, and you just automatically don't like them? That's how I'm feeling about this guy over here. He caught a big fish too. That could have been my big fish if we were here an hour earlier. All right guys, we're probably about 100 casts in, like hour one is down. There's some other ponds on this property. It's like crazy. This used to be one big lake and now they're all broken up into like smaller ponds. So what I think we're gonna do, since I was not the first one of this pond today, uh, the guy who's actually here said he caught five bass, one of which was like three something pounds on a weightless lizard. It's getting that time of year where like weightless lizards are key, like February, March is my favorite time to throw those. But uh, I might whip to a different pond because this one's already been fished and try to catch a fish on our, uh, on our Walmart combo. That might be the move in the next one we go to guys. I personally have never caught a fish out of there. I don't know if you guys remember my buddy Devin from a year ago on the channel. He moved to Hawaii, but this was his secret big bass spot. He never even told me about when I lived here until he moved. He's like, all right, you can have access to my, my secret big bass spot. So. I think we gotta go. Uh, we gotta go walk over there. And give that a try. Give it a little dangle. Let's leave this snotty, grassy lake and go to the next one with uh, with bigger bass. I fished it twice, caught nothing. So we'll see how it goes. Well, guys, there are signs of life in here. There's an alligator swimming over there. That is crazy. Tons of cool birds. I've never caught a fish out of here, but Devin has caught his uh, like his five PBs all out of this spot. I have fished it twice, never even caught a fish, ever. So it would be really cool to break in the new combo at a pond I've never caught a fish in before with even my high-end combos too. And there's this big fallen tree down in the water. <sighs> if I was a fish, I mean, I, I might hang out on the end of that tree. I would love to just crank a tank. I'm scared if we hook like an actual big one. I don't know what pound line this is, but it'll be a fight, that's for sure. Oh, there's another gator right there. Do you see that? <laughs> he is, he is literally like petting distance from us <laughs> yo that is that's a little scary <laughs> florida fishing be like that alligator over there is just zooming i thought in winter they were supposed to be on the bottom of the pond they're just active i might try to hop up here on this tree so luke is actually my enemy at this point it's all about them angles man hello mr alligator maybe he knows where the fish are at dude i'm about to fall my balance is like level two dude if i catch a fish he's probably charging us that's what they do just so you know if i fell in the water he would probably get to me before i got back on the land but that's just what florida boys do are you guys actually scared of gators let me know in the comments for me nah gator is just gonna mind his own business he's just waiting for me to catch a fish so he can eat it this is dangerous <laughs> all right i'm gonna keep on walking see if our pet gator fall <laughs> Yes, there we go. 
I done ruined my shoes, man. Dang it. <laughs> I knew, I knew it was risky. Well, ladies and gentlemen, should have wore the Crocs. In the arms of an angel. We get to a spot, dude's already caught five fish, just rubbed it in my face. Get the second spot, alligators right where I'm trying to cast. I just fall in the water, it's ruin. Oh. Side though, side. <laughs> There's still fish to be caught. That's A-OK. -okay. That's what you gotta do for the bass, man. Oh my gosh, got him. Oh, it's a little. <laughs> okay. I know you might be saying, Norm, I thought you said there's big ones in here. And little to my surprise, Lizard catches us the smallest bass ever, but we got a fish on the Walmart combo. I am pumped about that. Any fish is a fish. It's a fact, research it, fact check me on that one. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Any fish is a fish. Heck yeah, little squeak. <laughs> so tiny, but man, worth it. Boom. He followed me all the way up to the bank too, which makes me think they're sitting deep. I'm bringing that lizard up shallow and they're like following it and looking at it. That is fish number one on the board. All right, guys, we're done at these two ponds. We spent like two hours, caught one little dink, which honestly I'm pumped about because never caught a fish in here before, but I'm catching more of uh, trees and moss than I am fish. Not what I want to be doing so odd. Let me know if you guys want me to come back here with like a kayak and do like a kayak rip. This is bank fishing is like a nightmare. I mean, look at all the trees and the gators. I could walk up on like mama gator and that would not be good. But yeah, we're going to go to uh, some of the old trusty ponds and I want to put more work in with the old Walmart rod and reel combo because yes, I did fight that fish. He was kind of small though. And uh, honestly, it held up good. I'm casting far enough. Maybe if I was a better fisherman, I wouldn't get stuck in all the trees. I don't think it's rod and reel's fault, but yeah, I want to catch some more fish before the sun goes down. We got like probably an hour of daylight left. It's normally how it goes though. We fish like six ponds, nothing happens, lasts like 30 minutes, it just goes crazy. So, old lizard and bait cast rod and reel combo. We'll see you guys there. All right guys, we are here at the next pond and this pond is actually like one pond, two pond, three pond all the way up there and a whole lake on uh, this side so i mean we got like maybe 30 minutes before the sun goes down try to make something happen i haven't fished here in like the same amount of time probably a year and a half two years it has been a very long time i don't even know if there's still fishing here but i want to mix up the spots i fish a little bit oh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh guys that was a freaking tank Holy cow, he missed it. Oh my gosh, no. Oh my freaking, oh my, I feel sick. <sighs> I wanna cry. Guys, I don't even wanna talk about how big that fish was that just rolled on me. And he came for it twice and he missed it both times. That was definitely my PB like this year. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Oh, there's a fish. Yes! Oh my... <laughs> oh my gosh, it was another good one. Oh man, I saw a side flash. I don't know if they're setting up for beds or what's going on. We've had some warm days. Oh my gosh, ah. Oh. I, f I feel sick to the stomach right now, missing those fish. Oh my gosh, what am I doing, man? There's no way he's coming back for it either. I got way too much of them. Oh, there's one. Got him that time. Stay on, baby, please. I'm over three. They're stacked on that ledge. That's a good one, too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Boom, guys. There we freaking go. So I cast it right there. That big one that I had was on that corner. They might be stacking up to. Oh, I see another big one swimming. What in the world, guys? They're roaming right now. I see one probably twice the size of this swimming right now. Buddy, I'm going to have to let you go. Guys, that is a chunk. Probably three three or so pounder on the uh, on the Walmart combo. I am pumped about that. That's a big end. They're Roman. That was weird. I can I lost sight of that one. There's another one swimming right where this one's at too. That is crazy. That's a good one though. Probably three pounder. Boom. Right in the noggin. Big end. Let's go on the Walmart combo. Oh, it feels good to catch that. But I promise you guys that fish on that corner, that top water boil, I hope my arm wasn't in the way. And then on GoPro, it never looks as cool in real life. It was a big top water boil. Like, uh, <laughs> I, I didn't even know there was fish in here. This is ridiculous. <gasps> oh 
my gosh, I just had him, Zade. I didn't even realize he bit the tail off my lizard. Oh my gosh, no. Dang it. Dude, he bit the tail off my lizard. I didn't even realize he had it. That's him. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> yeah. Well, there goes my hook. Well, guys, that was, um, that I think was that uh, five or six pounder. He has to be on a bed, dude. That is crazy. I can't believe that just happened. I don't have any more hooks on me. I don't know what to say. A day that could have been filled with a seven pounder, probably a six pounder. Saw another seven pounder just swimming. We'll see what we do from here. I'm not sure yet. I'll keep you guys updated. Got him. <laughs> Heck yeah, guys. <laughs> Boom. There we go, guys. That was crazy. I watched him like charge it up to the bank. <laughs> I'm trying to be, uh, I'm trying to be quiet. I'm not this dude go. Another one on the Walmart combo. Oh, you got it. There you go. <laughs> so guys, on this side, there's like a golf course and there was a golfer. So I wasn't trying to be too loud and explain what was going on. But yeah, that fish was right up here on the bank and I worked my Cinco so quick and he just charged it. Like that was so freaking cool. Yes. That was probably the smallest fish I have seen roaming the bank here. He charged that bad boy. That was epic. Yeah, so I switched up the color of my uh, of my Cinco here. I would recommend if you get this combo, don't go with the normal line. I've snapped off so many times with this, but uh, we switched it up to the June bug Cinco and I forgot water flows into the lake right over here. So I think we're going to try fishing the other side just for a little bit, even though so many big fish roaming over there i'm gonna give him a little bit of a rest and then go back and try to hit him again Ooh, something just swirled by right over there oh i got one. Oh yes <laughs> that was crazy walmart combo that's a nice one too oh my gosh that took me by surprise <laughs> that was epic so this little waterfall just runs out this little river right here and he just smoked it. I thought I was stuck on a tree for a second, uh, but then I remembered I saw that big swirl and I was like, huh, it looks like something might have swirled right there too. That is so cool. That's a solid bass. I gotta come fishing here more often. I always like, this place I just slept on, I guess. I mean, that's a solid, probably one and a half pounder right there. That's a good one. Heck yeah, right out the drain. Let's go. See you, buddy. Trying to get back in there. That was on the black and blue sink. I gotta check my line every time because the line on this is, guys, it's tough. It's scary. I think that's why I snapped off yesterday. Oh my, did I just get weight? Guys, this was a spot back in the day. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm having flashbacks. Oh my gosh, I got slammed. Oh my gosh, it's big. It's good. That's a good one. He's Slam the top water, please stay on. Holy cow, that was epic. I can't believe that just happened. Oh my gosh, Walmart combo. That's a nice one right there. There we go. <laughs> oh man, it's nothing, it's nothing crazy, but that was, oh my gosh, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, dude. Top water, freaking four pounder. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, my first cast out there. <laughs> oh, look at how we ate the Cinco, it's gone. They're eating top water. Hear me out. Do you want to see some boat fishing videos out here? That is, oh my gosh. Holy cow. Subscribe to Fishing with Norm. <laughs> Boom. Guys, I'm gonna get an Instagram story real quick. Give this girl some water. I feel like that fish would have ate anything. All right, guys, here's one last look at that bass. Oh my gosh. Oh, slam me top water. Wow. <laughs> oh, that was epic. And honestly, this combo handled it well, guys. I'm enjoying the combo. The one, the number one thing I hate about it is the uh, is the line. That's the only thing. And thank goodness it held up against that. I'm gonna retie just to be safe. Wow, what a day. <laughs>